Hey, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I showed you 10 art channels on YouTube from 3,000 to 10,000. And in this video, I'm going to show you 10 medium-sized art channels from 10,000 to 50,000 subs. I think 10 to 50,000 subs is a really good size. It's not too big, so you're sitting in front of your computer all day, every day, answering messages to your fans and dealing with the haters. And it's not too small. You will be able to make a full-time living from Google AdSense, affiliate marketing links, and maybe Patreon as well. So it's a really nice balance. As a young artist starting out on YouTube, I think this is something that you should aim for. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Number one, Pruffle Art. This channel has 82 videos. When I found them a couple of weeks ago, it was only 7,000 subs, and it grew past 10K very quickly. Check it out. Number two, Imad Avan. Imad is an illustrator working on YouTube games, joined YouTube in 2017. He made only 28 videos, but got a 17.7K because each video has exceptionally good quality. His Instagram has 10.8K similar to his YouTube channel. Number three, creators channel settle, 19K. This channel is about artists and artisans working in Seto, Japan. It started in October 2019 and currently has only 16 videos. How could it grow so fast with so few videos? Perhaps because it features different artists from Seto, not just one single artist. The fans of each artist would likely to subscribe to this channel as well. Number four, Rain Man. Rayman is an artist living in the United States. He paints textiles on his channel and many of the videos are simply documenting the making of bespoke pieces so he could make money from providing his services and from the videos as well. Very smart move. There are 39 videos on his channel. Number five, Illustrateria. 27.3. Irina is an illustrator from Romania, joined YouTube in August 2019, quite recently, 42 videos published so far. She also have almost 40,000K following on Instagram, which might have helped her growth on YouTube. Number six, Kai Ceramics, 24.7K. Catherine Chips is a potter living in Atlanta. She started her channel in 2015, but she wasn't a regular, she wasn't active the whole time. With just 13 videos, she's able to gain 24,000 following. That's a fairly good deal. This is because some of her videos have hundreds of thousands of views. Number seven, the crafty chica, 30.7K. Casey Cano Murillo is a happy crafter from Phoenix, Arizona. She has been making videos on YouTube since 2006. Today, she has almost 400 videos on her channel. Wow, very productive. Check it out. Number eight, Jane Montes. Jane makes fluid art and show tips and tricks to newbie and hobby artists. She joined YouTube in 2010 and there are currently 36 videos on her channel. Number nine, Stefan Kunz, 42.3. Stefan is a lettering artist from the Switzerland. He joined YouTube in 2016 and currently has 73 videos on his channel. He's also on Instagram. Okay, he's not just on Instagram. Actually, he has more than half a million followers on Instagram with a thousand high quality posts. Very impressive. Number 10, Hayes Lan. Hayes is an artist from Malaysia. She makes painting time lapse and procreate tutorials. She joined YouTube in 2014 and has made over 70 videos. She was previously known as a beauty vlogger who later turned into a web developer designer. Now she is a full-time artist. You might be surprised. For those of you who are wondering why someone so young could change so many careers in such a short time, I have something to say about this though, because I realized when I first moved to Europe, uh, in the human resource department, people see it quite negatively. If you change too many sectors, industries, and jobs in a short time, but in Asian countries like where I'm from, I think it's not seen as a negative thing. It is seen as a courageous thing because you are able to make the changes. You're able to take the jumps and it, you're just chasing for your dreams and better financial life for yourself and your family, and there is nothing wrong with that. For those
those of you who want to quit your day job and start an art channel on YouTube or maybe a Patreon channel or whatever, things that you want to sell, you want to do, just do it. Start thinking out of the box and just talk to yourself like, you know, in Asia is not a bad thing, so why not? The sooner you will quit your job, start your channel, start marketing your art, the sooner you will be able to make a living from making art. And think about that. Hopefully this will motivate you. All right, that's all for today. Let me know in the comment below which channel is your favorite and see you in the next.